Good morning. Hello again. Welcome to you all. Thanks for taking a second to hang with me this morning. So the sun is kind of doing a weird thing here. So maybe I can go this way. So yeah, we're hanging at the beach this morning. Trying to start the day with peace and love and really hear a uh, direction. Today has the potential to be a really big day um, in the life of Frank's estate. I can't go into details, but uh, today has the potential to be a big day. We're, we're definitely moving in a direction at the moment, and I don't know what God has uh, from here on in, but we're hanging on for the ride. And so this morning, I was down at the beach, uh, down in the water, and I happened to see uh, this shell. And under normal circumstances, it doesn't look like anything, but that's, that's not the part I saw first. The part I saw first was this side glimmering at me in the water and you may not be able to see it because the sun is not right. I don't know. Anyway, I saw the beauty of the shell and then the sea came along and knocked it over and all I could see was this side, the rough, the bumpy, the ugly but the beauty was still there. It's broken, but the beauty was still there. And that happened to me uh, last week, actually. Uh, I had a situation come up where my character was assassinated, uh, not just by one person, but by a whole community of people and I have to tell you that it hurt greatly in the moment and caused pain and temporary suffering in the moment and it also provided a lesson to once again look deep within myself and uh, hold everything in my life as I try to do with open hands and not hold anything so tight that I'm not willing to give it up. So I came to the position that, you know, my character, what others think of me, means nothing, nothing. I know who I am. I know that my intentions are pure. I want to only be helpful to people as much as I can. I want to spread love and I want to spread sunshine which for me is both this beautiful thing that we have in the sky and the S-O-N, the love of God and his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, so seeing the shell at the beach this morning was pretty awesome because it took some time for me to um, remember that what other people see, maybe they see the dark bumpy side or they've decided that I am the dark bumpy side and they can't see the real me. And that's okay. That's okay because the real me is still me and God sees me and that's all that matters. So I don't know if somebody else needs to hear this, but you are beautiful to God. You are beautiful as you are, broken, whole, it doesn't matter. Even if you look bumpy or scaly on the outside, there is beauty there. We might have to dig for it. Life might flip us over a bunch of times, but it's there and can be found in each of us. So I guess this morning we're just holding on. We're, we're holding on for dear life and we're going to see what the next 
part of this journey looks like. Um, pretty much finished at Frank's house, more than likely. So we'll be moving on to what is in store next. So I'll probably make a video at some point and just give an update about the van here soon. I was able to get uh, it classified as an RV. So I now have RV insurance, which saves a ton of money. So I wanna do a video about that in the near future, maybe this afternoon. But we're gonna be doing some more van renovations. We're installing an alternator and another house battery and some things coming up. So stay tuned for that. But uh, this morning I just wanted to pop in real quick and say hello to you all. Um, I've missed you guys, but it's been craziness, and anyway, here I am, thought I'd pop in, share a little beauty with you this morning. Um, lots of love to you all, take good care of yourself, super important, and I will talk to you again soon.